Do you have your license, please? Yeah. I don't know if you guys realize it, but you guys are on Fort Weaver. In the shoulder lane. This is actually the bike. You see how that sign says bike route right there? I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. You have your registration insurance, please. Okay, this is the insurance. This one is actually expired, this insurance, back in 4122. If you want to take this one back. Three eight one nine traffic stop. Three eight one nine. Anyway, it's not. While speaking to you, I can smell a strong odor of um, alcohol coming from your breath as you, as you speak. Um, are you willing to participate no, like in a standardized field sobriety test? Seven. I got a suspicion um, I'm sorry? I, no, I haven't Six done seven. anything wrong. Six Did you? You said no, you, so no, you don't want to participate in a standard test? No, I haven't done anything wrong. I just stopped and we were talking. Well, you're actually parked in the shoulder lane of Fort Weaver. I know, I'm Pull off your breath. So, just to make this clear, are you willing to participate in a test or not? I, I don't understand why that's relevant. It's relevant because you're behind the wheel of a car. The vehicle is in motion, right? No, the vehicle is not in motion. Ready for motion. Um, when I first pulled up alongside you to check if you guys are okay, you tried to drive off twice, and I told you stop right there. I'm checking to see what's going on. So yes, the vehicle was in motion. I'm not exaggerating. So are you willing to participate in the test or not? Sir, I know you said that already twice. I'm asking you yes or no. I'm not trying to force you. I'm asking you if you want to voluntarily participate in the test. I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I stop. Well, at this point, like I said, I believe you have been drinking, but you may be impaired. So are you willing to participate in the test or no? I, I don't understand what the, what if I say yes or no, I, I'm not sure. Well, I, again, it depends if you want to say yes or no. I can't coerce you into taking it or not taking it. I, I, I don't see any need to do that. There's no probable cause for that. I stopped on the side of the road to suck. I'm sorry. Well, Matthew, like I already explained to you twice, you were here on the shoulder. I'm sorry? Yeah, he's going after the guy that just burned out. Okay. So was that officer. I'm pretty sure you guys could just hear that, that car burning up. Okay, so yes or no? I, I no, I, I don't. Okay, so no, you do not want no, to, I, or no, I don't think there's any. Okay, so I need a simple yes or no. Yes, you got to participate. Yes, you want to, or no, you don't want to participate. Well, you're not giving me a clear explanation of what the consequences are, but sir, no, I, I literally did a couple times already. No, you can't give me no reason. Okay, Matthew, if you're not gonna answer at this time, I'm gonna take it as you're refusing to participate. I'm gonna ask you to step out of the car. So step out of the vehicle, please. Clarify that you asked me. Matthew, you, you did ask to clarify. I clarified multiple times already. Okay, so step out of the vehicle, please. And I mean, if I said yes, I'd have to step out of the Matthew, vehicle. Matthew, step right? out of the vehicle, please. Yeah, okay. And turn around. Place your hands behind your back. You're putting place on the rest for DUI. But I can arrest her for DUI. Turn you around, please. Even, I, I will participate then. Do not resist. Then I will participate. Turn, turn around. Turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, place your hands behind your back. Like Matthew, then. place your hands behind your back. Thank you. Wait a minute. Place your hand behind your back. Matthew, place your, car, place your please. hands behind okay. your back. You are My under arrest for DUI. You're being under arrest for operating vehicle on the influence of intoxication. Matthew, this is not a place to pull over and have a car.
Probably arguing. could have pulled over a hundred yards up there. Okay, first of all, if you've been drinking tonight, you shouldn't be driving here and getting into an argument here in the first place. Okay. I'm just gonna move your bracelet up, sir. Could I take the keys out of my car? For Actually, I think how about let us handcuff you first? Yeah, we gotta take I, care I of this. I don't understand. You, you, so you gave me no indication of what the consequences were, because I'd be glad to well, take. Well, Matthew, a that's sobriety. considered coercion. If I tell you what the consequences are, if you take a test and fail, that's considered coercion. Well, I that I'd could like be leading to take... you to a decision that I you done anything wrong. did not want to make. Okay, so that's why it's voluntary, and I left the decision up to you. But I asked you what the consequences were. And, and I explained to you that I cannot answer you because that could be construed as coercion in court, I don't, I don't, which is true. I'm not I here to I'm sway you to take the test or the not take the test. That is your decision you I have to make. This. Okay. Right. Driving, tell I'm trying to cooperate. Tomorrow. That's all I know. I think you probably turned around and saw us. Maybe you thought we'll Okay, we're going to walk you back to the car. We're going to secure you first. What's his first name? Matthew. Matthew. Okay, Matthew. I'd like you to loosen this. It's really hurting my wrist. Should I come outside real quick? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not a flight risk. I, I, just, I, I honestly don't know who you are. Should I come step back over here? I have your ID. I, know. I don't. Should I come step, step back over here? You got your keys. Mine is in my car. Again, I would gladly. I would like to take the sobriety check okay. that you have. I just. Okay. So what 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 happens now is I cannot. Um, you're already placed in handcuffs, so I cannot force you to take a test here, right? Well, I'd like so, to take it. Well, I want to take it. Okay, well, let me, not, hold on, let me explain to you. So the test is done at the station, okay? So the test is a breath, blood, or, or your, oh, sorry, breath, blood, or both. And then um, she's going to read the forms to you at the Kapolei station. And then from there, if you agree to take a test, then... Okay, should I stop um, twisting your wrist, please? Okay, stop, stop. Stop twisting your wrist. No, I'm trying to unlock and lock these cuffs, but you keep twisting your arms. How's this right side? You know, you said that I drove off and I didn't wait, wait, stop. My, my, Matthew, I'm face. trying to... I'm trying... I'm literally standing still, officer. Matthew, my body cam is on and it's recording you it's twisting on. your arm. And you're lying. I'm you're not lying, lying, Matthew. And it's really upsetting. Matthew, I never lied once tonight. No, you said, like, I tried to drive off. I'm right next to you. Matthew? I... I this is ridiculous. Matthew, you're moving your arms again. So leave it. Yes, I move my arm like a half an inch. Matthew, you asked me to fix these cuffs for you. Because okay? they're too tight. I am fixing it for you, and you keep moving your arms. No, I was not. That's very comfortable. Okay, step back over here. I would like to take the test okay, turn around, so that we can settle this because like, there's again, nothing Matthew, wrong. Again, Matthew, the test is at the station, so go inside the car. I would like you to explain to me. Matthew, uh, go when, when the car. I was in the car, Matthew, you asked, go inside the car. When I, I asked what the consequences were, you gave me no answer, and Matthew, go inside the car. Actually, this is worse. It's my, not worse, Matthew. Arm, no, my, I don't, Matthew, I, I just checked it, and worse. it's super loose. This seems to be... Not that I, no, not really.